Hi everybody, in this short video we're going to be introducing the four sentence types. So let's get straight into it. As I said, there are four. They are called the simple sentence, the complex sentence, the compound sentence, and the complex compound sentence, which obviously combines the complex and the compound sentences together. So what do they actually look like and how do they work? The simple sentence has one independent clause, which means it is a complete thought that makes sense on its own. The dog barked. It is cold this morning. They were eating lunch. All of those make sense on their own. What's the next one? It is complex sentences. These have one independent clause. They also have a dependent clause. So a dependent clause is something that doesn't really make sense on its own. It's not a complete thought. And so it relies, it is dependent on what, what else is in the sentence. It is dependent on the independent clause to make sense. It was a good day except for the rain. Except for the rain isn't a complete thought on its own. So it is dependent on it was a good day, which we can see there is the underlined independent clause. I was cross because I was late for sport. Again, because I was late for sport doesn't really make sense on its own. I was cross because I was late for sport, however, does. I was cross is the independent clause that makes sense on its own. Because I was late for sport is the independent clause. Because I was running late, I forgot to pack my toothbrush. Now in this one, the independent clause comes before the dependent clause. So I forgot to pack my toothbrush makes sense on its own. Because I was running late doesn't really, it needs something else. Because I was running late, I forgot to pack my toothbrush. The next one is the compound sentence. Now this has two independent clauses, so two simple sentences that are joined by a conjunction. So let's take a look at some examples here. She did not cheat on the, ch on the test, for it was the wrong thing to do. And you can see the independent clauses have been underlined here. They got there early, and they got really good seats. They had no ice cream left at home, and they didn't have money to go to the store. You can see the underlined parts in each of those sentences make sense on their own. They are a complete thought. We've joined them with a conjunction, and so we have a compound sentence. Now the last one is the complex compound sentence. This one is going just a little bit further and it is combining, as you might have guessed, the complex sentence and the compound sentence. So what's in them? We have two independent clauses, so two thoughts or ideas that are complete. We also have at least one dependent clause. So this is something that is reliant on other things in the sentence to make sense. And again, the independent clauses have been underlined. I stopped believing in Santa Claus when my mother took me to see him and he asked for my autograph. When my mother took me to see him on its own doesn't make sense. It is dependent on the other two independent clauses. I will get to watch television, but first I have to clean up the dishes after we finish eating. So this one has one dependent clause. After we finish eating doesn't really make sense on its own. So there you go. We have four sentence types. Simple sentences, complex sentences, compound sentences, and complex compound sentences. And we'll be going over those in more detail in class. Don't forget, pause, rewind, and rewatch as many times as you need.